Why, hello, Virgo. Welcome to your Divine Guidance Reading, where we are spiritual as fuck. Ooh. If we haven't met yet, my name is High Priestess Barry, psychic, medium, and divine channeler, hoping to bring you a message. Now, always remember, my messages are candid and scripted, but they're also timeless, so please tap into your instincts, listen to your intuition. If there's anything that I talk about that doesn't make any sense, Totally fine. Do not worry about it. This message may not be for you, but if it does resonate, please let me know by commenting and giving me a like below. Whoa, holy distracted Batman. So uh, I'm just kind of curious. What was at the base over here? Anomaly. Huh, okay. Uh, something seems out of place. It's just sort of like, I am I know I'm here. I'm doing the thing, but something doesn't seem quite right. Um, and it's kind of perfect. Uh, I've been doing SWOT analysis for the month of November, um, looking at where your strong points are going to be for the coming weeks. Where is it that you might have some weak spots, some blind spots? What are the opportunities you can take advantage of? And a uh, few threats, most likely to your to your ego. And it's kind of perfect that it four cards um, plunk straight out. And there's this sort of, no, no nonsense. We need to dive into this. Like, I, whatever has been going on with Virgo, like, your path changes. You're in for a course correction. And if you haven't already made the intention, it's sort of like the decision is going to be made quickly. And it's going to be made fast. And it's sort of one of these feelings where... You know, I don't have time to really think about this. I know what it is that I needed to do. Uh, there's um, a lot of acceptance within here. Uh, and it's kind of like uh, you could be accused of um, not looking at the situation properly, but there's something very activating about your intuition at this time where you just know this is causing me a lot of anxiety and oh my God, this is not fucking worth it. Like some of your blind spots during the next month though is getting, uh, I'm hearing an accurate perspective, but in some ways, like it's even less about seeing something um, from a different angle. I think if you guys, there's still something that you're stuck with. I, I feel like you're a little bit impulsive because um, you know that you'll be fine. You know there's going to be victory. In some ways, whatever energy soup that you are in, it's kind of making you hella confident right now. And um, in some ways, be cautiously optimistic that um, you're ready just to kind of move forward, embrace the change, get on with your fucking life. But there's a, a, a need in here to actually see something. There's some important information that um, needs to reach you before um, you make the move. Like the your decision has been made. You know it's going to happen. Um, but there's some ask within here to maybe hold back just for a moment because there's one piece of very critical information that needs to reach you. Your uh, opportunity this month, take a risk. Like whether if this is uh, moving to a new city, town, a new state, province, even heck, another country. Um, there's uh, like no, no intention is without its risk. But I really feel as though you know this could be extremely rewarding. But the threat right now is that you're going to have people who are going to try and talk you out of this. And I think this has to do with a little bit of the perspective card. You know, while I picked different cards and we're moved into different energy, there seems to be some link up between you guys and the Leo angle that I can tell so far. But in your particular case, Virgo, um, you're being asked to kind of, like Leo, it's like, see the people for who it is that they actually are. And in some ways, you're being invited to allow people to try to convince you to go back on your plans. This is kind of interesting and unique because there's something that the universe is actually trying to show you. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle before I do so. I do have a page of pentacles and uh, I'm doing a whole thing where it's like I'll, I'll shuffle on camera. I'm not sure if you guys actually care if I shuffle on camera. I tend to be uh, efficient and I want to make the best use of your time. But uh, for this month, I've been kind of encouraged just to show you guys the, the inner workings of the land of berries. Um, so let me know like, if you have a preference one way or the other. But with that page of pentacles, um, it's this kind of, it is the brand new beginning um, but you might be tempted to kind of show something off, whether if it's show off your wealth, show off um, that you've 
won something, show, like, there's this temptation to announce your plans and this is why it's similar to leo so regardless if you have leo placements or not you might benefit from just looking at that message because i think there's a little bit of contrast there's some similarities going on within there but um when we share information we have to be conscientious especially if we're still actively manifesting it so for leo it was more like you're getting ready to uh, and make a manifestation and you're hoping everything will work out but for virgo it's sort of like something has actually worked out for you and you're kind of tempted to share the victory Ooh, we got the card of the moon this could be um like what's underneath here two of swords like um really listen to your intuition right now listen to that inner knowing like remember i was saying there's some important information that um you need to receive even if it feels uncomfortable because you actually need to know who is a self-interested little asshole versus someone who actually genuinely cares about you and there's something about selectively sharing information or if anything maybe just keeping things private to yourself you might have been accustomed to sharing everything that um has happened you want to share the good news the bad news oh lion spirit <laughs> i'm gonna shuffle here so yeah that's a bit of a confirmation so and you know it could be a bit of a before and after um but uh it's one of these things where you're already a very generous individual, but sharing what your victory is, whatever this actually ends up being, it could be a realization, a lump sum of money, um, you know, your plans to leave and move on. Um, you got people around you that would take advantage of you. And it's sort of like, you're willing to also take a risk based on this newfound wealth, this newfound realization, but you've got people around you that they would take advantage of you, they talk you out of it, or they try to align to you just to, it's sort of like if you became rich, they just want to keep you around so they can gloat that they know you. It's, it's that kind of feeling. Ah, peacock spirit, let it shine like you're, you're in this really neat timeline right now so um let's cut and we'll be asking what are the what's your main challenge during this time some of the blockages you could experience what are the what's the guidance from spirit and a potential final outcome but oh wow six of cups groundhog spirit time to let go there's a, a repeat of history that i've been detecting for a lot of members within the angle like there's a chance for you to kind of revisit uh original intentions revisiting soul contracts revisiting why you got into something within the first place you know it's sort of like a past version of you wanted to become an artist and 20 years later you somehow got a fucking scholarship it's like you got a free ride to school and um while you are excited about it you know what you had to go through to get to that point you got people around you who are just so imbalanced so dysregulated so anxious that while on the outside they appear happy spiritually um they would really feel jealous even if they feel guilty about it they still have the jealousy gene going on so um what's your main challenge during this time beaver spirit leah solid foundation seven of cups like you know there's a little bit of this um having to grow up having to move on but if you're it's like if you're entering into a karmic timeline one that you've gone through before and you maybe you failed at it this is a chance to get back on your original path get back onto your path of purpose and if you don't have that solid foundation laid yet it gets confusing and in some ways this challenge is just to let you know there's some normalness to what it is you're feeling you know six six of cups leading up to uh, seven um like you are getting these sort of step by steps like things are just revealing themselves as they go that's a little bit of that moon energy that we were looking at earlier before i cut i'm kind of curious what's any uh Nine of Cups underneath the Six of Cups. Like these are your alliances um, 
to people based on love, passion. Like I'm getting like a, maybe like a lot of family, friends, like not even so much romance because um, Pulp Tarot can be a, a little bit of a melodramatic bitch about certain things. But there's this hyperbole that I I'm detecting in the in the background, especially is set especially with that peacock spirit, there's something that you're excited about. There's something that you want to share. And um, you're still a little bit confused during this time because, well, if I want to do this right, I have the opportunity, finally, um, like, I want to make the most of it. And it's kind of good. You're not afraid of making mistakes, but you're kind of not sure what to look for to give you an idea of what a mistake is is yeah, okay okay what's your blockage at this time time for a beginner mindset with the porcupine along with hermit like like at the end of it all just because you got something external like like i said you know you get the free ride scholarship or you get the large lump sum of money or maybe you just hit it rich or you're able to marry someone that you can love and trust and has all the money like i i i every so often go back to this like random instagram video that a friend shared with me and it was like four or five girls um i think they were in los angeles like the hollywood boulevard where it's where you find all the Bogavis and the Gucci's and the Louis Vuitton's like, you know, that's where you would go if you feel like dropping $10,000 just to make yourself feel good. But <laughs> I've never been. I just make fun of people like that because I'm a monster. <laughs> I prefer vintage Anyways, 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 anyways. No, I see these girls like they're they're sitting in a circle in the middle of the sidewalk where they have like all of these like money and purse offerings in a circle and they're all sta like you know standing part they're all sitting holding hands with their eyes closed chanting I fear money I fear wealth I fear a rich husband I fear Louis Vuitton like these girls were manifesting based upon their fear and fear is healthy like you know when we have a healthy sense of fear you know it's getting up on stage and having the jitters like even professionals who've made their entire lifestyle about getting on stage and performing in front of an audience you're taking in the energy of an entire crowd and you have to stay anchored in so you don't lose yourself but so many people get stage fright because they don't know how to feel anchored in front of an audience because they're so afraid of how the audience may make fun of them but it's so normal to get in front of a group of people it's so normal to get in front of a camera it's so normal to stand before a group and make public declarations or tell them your opinion or try to entertain somebody like there's something about resetting your headspace and knowing that this feels very public. This does feel as though a lot of people are going to be hearing with what's going on. I feel this sort of fame and fortune for Virgo right now, but it's one of these things where you were actually spared the last time you got onto this timeline because you would have lost your soul. Um, and you, I'm sorry, for some of you, you would have lost your soul to drugs, um, to um, predatorial business practices. Um, you would have aligned with people who would have just you know, chewed you up and spit you out and blame you the victim. Like there's actually something, despite how difficult of a road you've gone on, you, even if all the things that I just said, you're like, well, that has happened to me, Berries. But there's something about it wasn't as public as it could have been. It may have felt public to you, the past version of you, whatever it is that you were walking away from, the thing that dysregulated you, the thing that didn't work out the last time. This is coming back around to meet you again, and this feels very public facing. But there's something about having a bigger mindset as to why you want to go on this particular journey. This is you entering into a cycle of um, being an influencer, being able to even if you're just, you know, speaking for two minutes, having that two minute impact with people, like I'm terrible with the two minute impact. I'm just a motor mouth and I just constantly channel things from the divine. Everyone's different and everybody has a place when it comes to delivering light codes. And as we enter into this Aquarian energy with um, Pluto transiting into Aquarius on November the 20th, it's sort of like, this is going to be your chance to shine and you have to be very thoughtful about what it is that you are sharing. Are you um, 
Are you celebrating your material wealth? Maybe keep that between you and your guides. Celebrate with your guides that they have been able to take you through this karmic cycle, bring you back to the person where you are at right now, and be grateful that they've given you the resources that you can get onto the path safely and actually be effective because your words would have been lost no matter what. There's some saving grace here that I think that um, you guys in Virgo um, are going to be feeling at this time. What kind of guidance would spirit have for you? Be open to infinite possibility, page of cups. Like this is um, just creating friendship and brand new um, connections. And in some ways, simplifying how it is you wish to interact with people. Like, I feel like you're a big, bold, um, and even an old soul, because hermit is a little bit of this sort of, you know, consecrated old soul energy. It's not quite the hierophant. Um, and it's not quite the high priestess. It's just more that you know that within your core being, you've lived the lifetimes. You, you have been the dictator and you have been the oppressed. You've seen both sides of the light and the shadow of the world. And there's something in the way that you're stepping into your purpose that is going to coalesce and you're being brought into your purpose. Like, that's fucking amazing. You're opening up to an infinite dharma timeline and dharma, unlike karma, it's just following what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel good. Just recognizing that while you're kind of looking over there and you wish that certain people would pay attention to you because you still struggle with it feeling validating, those people, they're over there for a reason because they would dim your light. They would crash your party. They would only use you for your name's sake. And that's not what you're looking for. There's a chance for you to start from a from a, uh, a brand new perspective where you can be the old soul and you can treat everybody with respect, but also just recognizing the people you're talking to are children. <laughs> and that's not disrespectful. Like if you think that it is disrespectful to talk to someone, if they behave like a child, you should talk to them like a child. If you think that is disrespectful, it means you have a parental wound that still needs to be addressed and cleared out, especially from that solar plexus because um just because somebody has age does not equate wisdom have you not seen the news age usually equates mm, you know and especially with people who are public facing like new people are going to be coming into the limelight who actually are connected to source and virgo i think you're going to be one of them as you are able to work on yourself and recognize that you're not gonna have all the answers right away, but you can feel excited knowing that you got the support, that you um, actually have the insight. You do have the wisdom to carry out whatever it is that your divine soul has been um, calling you to do. How are you gonna feel at the end of all of this? Crow spirit, co-create and the tower. Like you're um, in the process of feeling good about allowing things to just fall away. If you are co-creating with spirit, you know, cause we do have the crow, the crow oracle to go in a different direction and just recognizing that there's certain things about people that you still need to register. You still need to recognize that you can still take the risk. You can still take advantage of this wonderful opportunity, but you needed to make it about you, knowing that you don't need to be that selfish asshole that would be presented in the media uh, as being harassful and hurtful and rude and tone deaf. Like you're turning this around. This might be seen as a weakness, but until you actually see it for yourself, you won't be able to utilize that gift, but you're being asked to consider, maybe you should just co-create with the universe, what needs to be done and just allow things to fall away naturally. Like I'm getting the sense that you're getting more and more comfortable with detonation switches um, in your reality. And, um, you know, while it's important not to be too trigger happy, but it's sort of like when the divine shows up and you have the opportunity in some ways, the divine's like, so you think this is worth bulldozing? You're going to feel a lot more confident. Like, Yes, yeah, spirit. Let's bulldoze it. Fire in the hole. Like, oh, 
feels so good right now. Oh, wow. We got the card of resurrection after I go to shuffle. You are actually reconnecting with your original soul core purpose. You have been able to finalize these karmic contracts. A few of you still have a little bit of work to do, but if you are listening and you're paying attention, you're taking notes and you're understanding how everything within your experience isn't there to bring you down. It's just to inform you. You'll be able to finally reconnect with your true divine unified self. I'm just saying. Woo. Well, Virgo, whoever you guys are, damn. I really hope that this helped. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm super excited for you. If you like my style, please make sure to like this video on the way out. And if you kind of want to, you know, keep following this amazing energy, I highly recommend that you subscribe. And until I see you at the next one, I'm wishing you peace, love, and all the berries. Bye!